Well, lo and behold, money man Mason Mount may not be signing a contract for Chelsea in the upcoming seasons, which is going to be a hard pill to swallow because obviously he's been one of these players that we've been able to rely on multiple times throughout multiple seasons. And yet, for some reason, things are not gelling well with this player. Now, I'm not too sure if exactly he's just holding out right now because of the World Cup. Obviously, he might just be focusing on that. But this does beg the question to wonder if there are a lot more issues going behind the doors that we do not know about. Now, it sounds like he would love to stay at this club if we did change to a back four, which I believe Graham Potter has been trying to do as of lately. The thing is, and we all know this, Thiago Silva plays better in a back three. Not that he probably can play in a back four because, again, he's an elite CB, but with his pace and everything, I think it makes more sense having three in the back. That way, again, you don't have to really rely on his pace as much as all the other players around him. And also in our midfield as well, I know that with Tuchel, with Jorginho, both those players were able to play better in a back three. But if you do look at this, it makes a lot more sense for Mason Mount to be in a squad that's a 4-3-3 or something along those variations because the way he plays He's not really a winger, so you can't put him out on the right wing, even though we've done that multiple times. You can't put him as a CDM because that just does not make sense. And all the other positions really, again, do not make sense for this player besides being a free-roaming midfielder in a three-system midfield with a CDM such as Declan Rice or someone else that could possibly come in because, again, that gives him the freedom to do what he does best and be creative, make passes, be able to shoot from distance, all these things, which, again, I believe right now Mason Mount is looking at and thinking he does not have the opportunity at Chelsea currently with what we have but again we do have the chance for uh transfer january window coming up soon so possibly graham potter can bring in some players i do not see declan rice leaving west ham in the middle of the season most likely that will be at the end of the season into the summer transfer window but still we need to find someone different in the midfield because as we've seen we are hit with a lot of injuries in the midfield but we also don't have an outright cdm which again i've talked about this before this is a key player that each squad almost needs to have nowadays because if you have that player, he can sit back and you can then can put Connor Gallagher and Mason Mount in front of him who both are energizer bunnies that could run all over the pitch and again, cause so much havoc and chaos for other teams because they can press so much better. Along with this gives more opportunities for us to pass the ball forward to our attacking third players as well because right now that has not been the case. We're almost stagnant in the midfield because we're always trying to get the ball back, dropping way deep, which then carries this massive gap between our midfield and our attacking third, which is very frustrating to watch as we've seen. We do not create many chances and we do not score those chances that we do have and therefore we've been losing a lot of matches because of that. So right now, Mason Mount does have some opportunities to maybe go to a different club. I, there has been rumors with going to Liverpool, Juventus. I don't think he's going to leave Chelsea anytime soon, but I think he is bringing this to the table for negotiation, saying we need to bring in different players if you want to keep me, which again, definitely makes total sense for this player if he does see a future at Chelsea, and hopefully he does because he definitely can be one of the best players to play in this league at his current age, the way he's been playing. And I think Graham Potter, whoever manages Chelsea, can definitely get him going in the right direction. We just need to have some type of philosophy and some type of formation that, again, is possibly able to keep up with Manchester City, Arsenal, um, all these other teams. Because right now, what we're doing is not doing that. And we do need to change something up, whether that's formation, players coming in, players being sold. But again, we need to be doing something. Hopefully during this break with the World Cup coming up, Graham Potter can figure that out along with the upper management as well. But again, we will see what all happens. So that is all I have for you today in this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. Helps get this video to more and more fans such as yourself. And that is it. And I will see you next time.